ML Sports Take brought to you by Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company and Camillo's Golf Club. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So the Bills start out against Arizona at home at Miami, home for Jacksonville. You hope that the Bills can at least come out of there 2-1. and one. Now they've got kind of a mini gauntlet end of September, early October when you look at those three straight road games in terms of dealing with, you know, the Houston, Baltimore, and uh, New York Jets situation. was actually surprised that the Bills and Texans didn't get more of a prime slot. Um, but when you look at that little part there for the Bills, you know, if they struggle out of the gate here, it, it, man, you look at that, th those three big games there, and you're really hoping to come out of that, you know, first six at 500. If the Bills, for some reason, uh, you know, come out and let's say they lose, um, you know, to the Jags and the Cards, or they lose to the Dolphins, you know, let's say they they start one and two or something of that nature, and then you've got to go into that little mini gauntlet. Uh, but we've seen the Bills battle back when they've been 500 or below or whatever the case may be. For God's sakes, last year they, they were six and six. They win five in a row. They get the two seed, and then they choke in the playoffs against Kansas City as per usual. But that little stretch there is very interesting. I do think the Bills late by might help them uh, this year in Week 12. You have some wins <clears throat> possibly at the end of the year to stack if you need them to get into some prime position with Pats, Jets, Pats. You got to love a lot of the 1 o'clock games. You got to love a lot of uh, um, you know uh, free holidays without uh, primetime football, right? Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, all that kind of stuff, especially for somebody like me working in sports media. It's completely impossible to be uh, healthy Helping in family matters, watching kids, doing this, doing that, giving baths. Uh, my God, you got your phone going. You're going in, in, in and out of rooms. You didn't see what happened. You got to go back and look. It's, it's unbelievable. So uh, I'm happy that those things are not going to take place. Tons of quarterbacks, obviously, with Lamar and Patrick Mahomes and company. And you've got Brock Purdy and Jared Goff and some pretty cool teams on the slate as well, including NFC foes Detroit and San Francisco. Detroit should have gone to the Super Bowl last year. So a lot of fun on the schedule for sure. And I do like the opener against Arizona, making a team come from all the way across the West Coast 